I totally almost missed this day. I got distracted by doing nothing. This one's election day will become election month. Oh my god. Lee Drutman is a senior fellow at New America and author of Breaking the Two-Party Doom Loop. Oh, someone talked about this. The Case for Multi-Party Democracy in America. Mm. Don't mind the noises, it's the doggies. How do we hold an election in the time of coronavirus? By making it easier to vote when citizens want and where they want, so that election day doesn't become a health risk of big crowds and long lines. Imagine that. Like the beaches in Florida right now, or I think Texas is open. Mm -hmm. Shocker, those are the states that are not listening. Um, the change will come through expanded early voting and non-excuse mail-in balloting. Effectively turning election day into election month, or maybe months, depending on the closest, closeness of election and the leniency for late arriving ballots postmarked on election day. I don't ever think I've ever spelled a leniency or seen it on paper before. Leniency. This transition requires considerable thought and planning to ensure that all communities are treated equally <laughs> and to prevent fraud. But facing the proposed of crowded polling places staffed by at-risk poll workers who tend to be older, states will come under tremendous pressure to develop plans so that the election could go on regardless. This will mark a permanent change. This is what it took, the coronavirus. Once citizens experience once citizens experience the convenience of early voting and or voting by mail, they won't they they won't want to give it up. I mean, we know this. Once we look, the things that actually work, we just keep doing like everything in the world. More convenience will generate higher voter turnout, potentially transforming partisan competition in America. Oh, America.